PlayStation out the way. Hit my phone, don't get an answer. Good morning everyone and welcome to a full week of workouts. You guys have been asking me for such a long time if I could take you guys with me to the gym and show you my routine and show you my workouts because I've been recently trying to write my own program. Listen, it's hard. I'm not a personal trainer. Anything that I'm saying in this video is not as advice to you. It's just showing you what I'm doing. So I'm doing a lower body focus program. I'm going to the gym four to five times a week and I try to hit legs three times out of those sessions and upper body is split up into two sessions so today is monday it's 6 40. malik and i are going to the gym right now and today is a full leg day enough talking let's just go and get right into it all right guys so the first thing that i do is warm up Warm-ups are crucial. I want you all to warm up your body properly. I start with a five minute incline walk to just turn up the heat within my body. And then I do mobility stretches, leg swings, all the good stuff. And then usually one warm-up set of my compound lifts. I always start my workout with compound lifts. My first compound lift of today was a barbell squat. Compound lifts are moves that are very basic, but work a lot of muscle groups like a barbell squat or a deadlift. And these are perfect for progressive overload. Now I see you all be like, what is progressive overload and i'm glad that you asked because it's one of the og things that you have to know when you go into weight training because it's so important to gain strength and build muscle progressive overload is gradually increasing either the weight that you lift the frequency how often you lift or the amount of reps that you do within one set To finish my workout off, I'm doing leg extensions and standing calf raises. Both exercises are add-on exercises, which work a small muscle group. You can do more reps, less sets, and they're just a great finisher for your workout. All right, guys, today is my rest day, so I'm not going to be working out today. Having a rest day is just as important as having your active days because your muscles need rest to grow. Waking up early to go to the gym and work out is so hard almost every single day, but what makes it so much easier is having a cute gym fit. I personally love all of my Gymshark outfits and picking them out every single morning makes me so, so happy, which is why I'm so excited to be working with them on today's video. Good morning, let's go to the gym. It's upper body day, let's go. All right, so I didn't show you my warm up for today's session, but I was doing the usual, just a five minute incline walk and mobility stretches to warm up my muscles and to make sure that I prevent injuries. And then I started with my compound lift, which today was chest press and shoulder press on the machines. I love doing these exercises on machines rather than with the free weights because I'm weak. My upper body is weak. There is a high risk of injury when you work with free weights or a bench press, especially if you do not have someone to spot you. And the machines are just a great way to start getting into it, working on some basic muscle strength before you can move on onto the free weight section and prevent injury. Alright, 
Now you got it fucked up and messy Live it up, still I'm making lemonade like Nestle You can sneeze, still ain't get no motherfucking blessings Teeny bitch, I don't fuck with anybody begging You ain't know you dealing with a monster Let her go cause she a prima donna Sweating me like she be in a sauna Tryna bend her down in Tijuana Stat of money taller than the plaza Got a lot of drip with no water I'm on shotgun with no soda She know them problems coming with the Prada Alright guys, I'm back home and that wraps up today's upper body session. I hit upper body two times a week as I told you I am on a more lower body focused program so I'm not splitting into push and pull or back biceps, chest, triceps and shoulders kind of split anymore. I'm really hitting all muscle groups within each upper body session. I'm having three compound lifts in there and then usually two or three supersets. I didn't get around to do my tricep superset at the very end because I was short on time. I had doctor's appointment after my gym session and I really wanted to get in my cardio finisher because I'm doing cardio on upper body days. And please look at my arms. Stop it. Oh, this one hurts. As I said, I'm on a lower body focused workout, which means I have three leg sessions every week, a full leg day, glute and hamstrings, and glutes and core. And today was glutes and hamstrings kind of day, my favorite kind of leg day ever since I started going to the gym. I've been loving this one the most. As always, warm up your body, really, really important. You can also do some stretches in between your sets, another great tip, especially for your legs because there is a high risk of injury. And sometimes you can feel that your legs are still a little bit stiff even though you did 10 minutes of a warm up. So in between each set, you can still do some stretches which is really great i started out with a stiff leg deadlift this really targets your hamstrings and then i did some single leg romanian deadlifts which are focusing more on your glutes and also great for isolation isolation exercises where you work on one side at a time are really important because otherwise when you work both sides at one time usually one gets targeted a little bit less you usually work with your stronger leg and by isolating them and focusing on each leg at a time you make sure that both are trained equally. Guys, it's been a few hours, just in case that you cannot tell. There was a man, he was like, why is she talking to herself? I don't know, like, let me get my issues. Anyways, I feel like I'm not really talkative in this vlog, but it's okay. I'm working out on weekdays for the majority of the time and I'm having class afterwards. So I'm usually under time pressure and I like to keep my workouts for those days pretty short. The majority of my weekday workouts are like 45 to a maximum of 50 minutes long. And I think this is really important because a lot of us, if we're working, if we're going to uni, if we're going to school, the majority of us, we do not have the luxury of a one and a half to two hour workout, right? Like who has the time? And whenever I had a program, that I was paying for, I always had that time issue or like exercises that I didn't like, which is the main reason why I'm writing my own workouts at the moment. Listen to me, I am not the biggest fan of upper body days. I don't know why, it's probably because my upper body is not as strong as my lower body is. And if I feel weak, I do not enjoy my sessions as much, which is why I've decided to skip on my usual split and just combine all of the muscle groups within one upper body session and do two sessions every single week. And then I usually do the same compound movements for both sessions so that I can hit the same muscle groups two times a week. When you see us, yeah, I'm passionate.
I would drop it out by a house in New Orleans. Up the hitty on them, show sure them I'm important. When you grab me, I'll be falling like I'm Jordan. Why you hate the snoring? I'll be busy scoring. I would drop it out by a house in New Orleans. Up the hitty on them, show sure them I'm important. Supersets are my best friend when it comes to my upper body days because they make me save time, they make me sweat more, and they make me be able to actually hit all of my upper body muscles within one session. I usually like to center my supersets around the cable and then add on some free weights because ain't nobody got time to be running around the gym, okay? It's usually busy, crowded as hell, and you know, I just want to be at one place and do all of my exercises in peace. That's his dollars on the line. You know I ain't got the time. I be busy on the move. People wonder how I made it here. I always end my upper body days with cardio. I do not have a set out single cardio day because I don't like cardio, like cats out of the back, but it is important. I know that. And sometimes I do enjoy 10 minutes of it, just not 30 to 45. <laughs> Happy Sunday everyone! It is the last day of the week. Today is glutes and abs day. This is my add-on day. This is a day that I do not always do. There are weeks where you do not have time, where you feel low in energy, and you do not feel like you want to work out that day for the fifth time of the week, and then I skip out on it. But today I feel like doing it. So this is a glute focused workout, but we're not doing hip thrusts only. So whenever you train glutes, you should also train your hamstrings, but the majority of the exercises will be focused on glutes. Let's do this! I got some voices, they talking on me Got a new bitch, we loving on me I told her God every day of the week Know they all watching and plotting on me Got a little buzz, I got places to be You better decide, don't come running to me Find me some gold and it turn to a T Just said I was crazy, now she a It's glutes day She said we will not be hitting hip thrusts only But guess what we're doing first Yes, hip thrusts Because it is a compound lift It is heavy At the beginning of your workouts You usually still have a lot of energy So do your big lifts first Like hip thrusts And then work with a lot of weight Especially if you want to hit your glutes that day and then i was doing bulgarian split squats i don't like them okay listen to me i hate split squats they make me dizzy even though i'm like working with a relatively low amount of weight but i know that they're really good for your glutes and your hamstrings which is why i'm doing them and also there are an isolation exercise we already talked about that they're great i love my deadlifts whether we're talking about a stiff leg deadlift about a romanian deadlift i love them but listen to me for the longest time i did not like them because i just couldn't lift heavy like i felt i had the strength within my legs but my arms just they didn't function well and my grip was really bad so i recently got lifting straps and they just helped so much but i did hear that you shouldn't necessarily start lifting with lifting straps because it is important to work your grip too so i just recently started doing that and i've been training ever since last year and then I just finished off my session with a cute little ab finisher. I do not train abs per se, it's just a little finishing touch that I like to do. And yeah, that wraps up the week. Okay guys, technically the video will be over right now, but because I love you so much, I included this masterpiece. Vlog on Malik, welcome another episode with Chef Malik. I'm doing zucchini with eggs. We call it ajja. It's just eggs, basically, with some vegetables and... I'm doing eggs with zucchini. So, shred zucchinis. Oops, that's the sauce effect. Small onion. Oops. Heat up some oil. Episode of cooking with Chef Mali. It's TMF beendet. Stare at the rain on my window. I feel the tears coming soon. You're lying next to me. And I guess I've been lying too